DJ Shell, it's the number one for blazing hip hop and RB. BET Awards 2015. Don't forget, Sunday, be right in front of your television screen because at 8 o'clock, the BET Awards is taking over. They got a lot of surprises. It's going to be off the chain like it is each and every year. And we're live backstage in the uh, radio room. And this is a lovely young lady. I don't want to say her name wrong because I heard if you say her name wrong, she'll cut you. I don't want to get cut. Is that true? Maybe like the third time. The third time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, you know, a little punch. Maybe that's it. Andrew Day, actually. Andrew Day. Andrew. 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 See what I mean? See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from San Diego. San Diego, San Diego. Yeah, yeah. 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 So how, how did you get discovered to be a part of the BET Music Map? Uh, it was actually a very long process, but the short story is I did a showcase in New York, and Stephen Hill actually came out, and he saw me perform there, and um, and then he hit us up to book me for the show, so big thanks to Stephen Hill, thank you so much. Well, I'm going to just say this, you look like you belong on team. Oh, <laughs> thanks, I appreciate that. Like you might make up. Yeah, <laughs> You got, pretty, you got beautiful eyes oh, and everything. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so, San Diego girl, how long you been singing? Uh, my whole life. I started in church mm -hmm. when I was like 10 years old, and then I went to performing arts school uh, and did Broadway shows and some of the I did musical theater, mm -hmm. and um, so I'm singing my whole life. So, you born and raised for this right Pretty much. <laughs> and my parents always supported me too. I think they just knew I'm probably not capable of doing anything else but this. So. How do you feel now that you're getting this opportunity? Amazing. It's, it's just, I, I've never, you know, done anything I had to do. I've watched the BET Awards growing up, but right. I've never been able to come. I never had, like, you know, the means like that. So for my first time, to actually be performing on the Music Matters stage is like my whole You're performing in front of a lot of people. Do you still get nervous? I do. I do rant. It'll hit me. Sometimes I don't, and sometimes it hits me right before I go on stage, or it'll hit me in the middle of my performance. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm, I'm more excited than I am nervous. So. You ready for the world to hear your music? Are you working on an album or EP or anything like Actually, that? Actually, the album's done. It releases August 28th. Um, I've been birthing this, I say, for like three years. So, this is really my labor of love. And um, it's just, you know, it's an autobiography, soul music, you know. And, um, so I'm really looking forward for people to hear. The single's actually out right now. It's called um, Forever Mind and Spike Lee directed the first video. So okay. I'm really How did you hook that up? You know what? I was, I did <laughs> another amazing experience. I was at Sundance Film Festival mm -hmm. and they were doing a Nina Simone tribute. There's a documentary coming out called What Happened to Simone. So it was myself, Erica Badu, Kami, and Kate Davis, Leon Bridges. And he saw me perform, and when I came off stage, he loved the performance, and he was like, you know, what you went to, asking about my music, and then just offered to direct the first video, and uh, it was amazing. We had a meeting, and then we shot it at the standard Oh, the standard, the standard. Yeah, standard. We were talking about the standard last night. Oh, really? The, the box? Did yeah. you see the box? Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, that's where we shot it. <laughs> the, standard, the standard out here in L.A., if you've never been to L.A., you got to go by the standard. <laughs> One of them out of here now. It's, just, it's always something popping in. It's it always something popping. Always, always, always. There was actually a party at the hotel the day that we were See? shooting, too. So always yeah. something popping out there. Yeah, it was cool. So, who would you compare your, your style to? Mm, I get, um, I mean, I'm inspired by a lot of people. Really, a, a lot of jazz greats, Billie Holiday, um, you know, Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughn, Donna Washington, and then newer artists, Erica Mato. So, I think anybody who's sort of in that jazz band, anybody who's in that jazz band, that band is sort of, that's where I live and that's where I live. Such a beautiful young lady. Oh, thank you. You're going to be a trend set in the game. What trend do you hope to set in the game? Trend? Yeah. Mm, I always say my album is about truth and vulnerability. So I guess people sort of embracing their mistakes and their shortcomings and also not judging other people for that. So I'm hoping it, it inspires people to be more candid and open, which hopefully will make them more free. I can't wait to hear your music. Music Matter Stage is going to be live at the BET Awards. We're going to get to see the tree up close and personal. And for all my fellas out there, good! Oh, God. Will, let's do it, Will. Mm -hmm. Will. Yep. Take the camera. So I can stay. Oh, there you no. Go. <laughs> Charlotte's number one for Blazing Hip Hop at RB is Power 98.